Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having Aries on the second house cusp in the natal chart. Now, many of you may know, but for those that don't, the second house governs monetary things, things of a financial nature, resources, income generated, possessions, tangible assets, values, uh, material items, self-esteem, and self-worth, and the sign on the house cusp may indicate uh, the perhaps, well not, it could be uh, in many cases, uh, the way income is generated, what avenue or outlet the person has, and it could give characteristics toward uh, making money and certain attitudes toward this. Now, with Aries on the second house cusp, now, the person may be uh, very aggressive, very assertive, forceful in regards to making money and uh, generating income, being able to capitalize on opportunities when it's there. A person may be, uh, can even be combative perhaps over things regarding their money, their possessions. And Pisces will be rising in many of these instances. And even though Pisces is a passive sign, the person will show could show very strong aggression and assertiveness in matters connected to things of a monetary nature, things with connected with tangible assets. This person may show a lot of valor and fortitude in matters associated with their values and will stand up uh, for those values when it's necessary. I have a friend that has Pisces rising and Aries on the cusp of the second, and even though having Pisces rising, uh, the outer demeanor, his character, outer characteristics are such where he is rather, he may be rather passive and non-combative, uh, it seemed like over things in his home, his possessions, he would be rather outspoken about and it, so I, I had noticed that with him. So there, this is the area where Aries is, is located is going to show where you have that strong courage, that fearlessness. And in this case, with Aries on the second, uh, that is no exception. And Aries on the second will show often that valor, that courage, that fearlessness in matters connected uh, with money. Now, Aries can be impulsive and impetuous, and this person may become rather impatient in matters uh, connected with the monetary or financial nature might be very impulsive and maybe with, with the Aries here this is somebody that may embark on a lot of things on, on projects of financial nature whether it's business or things with just generating money in general but may not always finish them many things may be started simultaneously even in these matters but the person may not always have the persistence, like a Taurus, for example, like Taurus on the second, maybe, to stick with these things. So that is something uh, to look at if you have uh, Aries on the cusp of your second house in your natal chart. And the thing is, if somebody has uh, Aries on this house cusp, it can indicate perhaps strong spontaneity in matters of a monetary na nature this could be somebody that will can move uh, be impatient maybe with matters with resources uh, with their with their possessions and in as far as maybe the acquisition of them uh, this could be a person that that maybe uh, that shows uh, that can on, on the real on the worst maybe negative side of things can even be foolhardy from time to time in matters of, of a monetary nature in generating income and this is a, somebody that will be uh, can be rather outspoken in these matters as well things of a material nature material items this is a person that may uh, may collect things or have possessions that are like Mars Aries related such as sports items, uh, collectibles, and, and things of that nature, things connected with the military. Uh, perhaps this person, uh, as far as ways they may generate money, having Aries on the second, 
This person could be involved perhaps in something com of a competitive nature, such as sports, uh, could be martial arts, even something where that, that combat is mixed in, perhaps law enforcement, policeman, firefighter, something where that courage and fortitude it comes in very strongly. Now, Aries is ruled by Mars, and Mars governs metals. Now, the friend I was talking about before, he actually, I believe he still works in siding. I know he did previously, and siding is, of course, connected with metals. And if somebody were to say, let's say somebody had Aquarius rising, and they have, excuse me, Aries on the cusp of the second house, well, this could be somebody that may do things more of a scientific nature, but incorporate metals into it, such as somebody working with robotics, for example. So, this would be, the, those are things to look at as well, if somebody has Aries on the cusp of the second house in their natal chart. And also, when you look at your second house, don't forget to look at planets that are in that house and see where your uh, the ruling planet of the second is located because that might show some avenues uh, of where you may generate income. So those are things and may and might be connected with uh, possessions as well and things that you may, uh, as far as uh, self-worth goes. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having Aries on the cusp of the second house in the natal chart. And stay tuned next time, where I'll be dissertating and talking about having Taurus on the cusp of the second house in the natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, a person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.